Hi everyone, in the last tutorial we talked about the Coulomb law and now based on Coulomb law we will define the electric field intensity. Uh, so in Coulomb law we define two particles and we said that the force between the two particles uh, is proportional to the charges on the two particles and inversely proportional to the distance between the two particles right. So now uh, what is the electric field? So instead of uh, considering two charges, if we consider only one charge, so suppose if we have a one charge and uh, uh, so in this charge will have uh, electric uh, field all over the place. What does electric field means is that if some other charge particle come closer to this particle, then it will be influenced by this particle. So instead of uh, focusing about what's the charge of the other particle, we are just focusing on the charge uh, or the influence of this particle around um, in the surrounding areas. So, and we can say that, uh, so suppose force is proportional to Q1, uh, Q2 uh, divided by R square. So here we are not uh, taking into account of the charge of the other particle and we are just considering what is the influence of this particle. But obviously that influence uh, will be uh, uh, a function of the charge of the particle which will come into this region so therefore uh, electric field is more defined as the influence of one particle that could be there on the particles which will come closer to it so all we need to do is uh, we need to remove the other charge particle or q2 from the equation and then we will get the electric field so if we go to the textbook we can see that uh, so if we have two particles then uh, and they are at distance r from each other uh, then uh, this particle uh, will have a influence on this particle so the uh, and uh, that is in the direction of the electric field so because it has the electric field uh, on this particle and that electric field uh, the, that force will be defined by uh, this equation and the electric field will be defined by force divided by the particle charge uh, which will be affected so that's all uh, is electric field intensity. So it comes uh, handy when we are talking about uh, some kind of uh, uh, machinery or the engineering system where we have a big charge uh, in center and we are concerned about the small charges which will be sent closer to it and we want to see how that will be influenced. So we talk about the electric field uh, because the, the charge of the particles which are coming closer to that field uh, can be variable or can be different uh, with time but this electric field will remain constant so therefore in that case the electric field concept comes very handy but this is how you define the electric field now uh, let's also define the electric line of forces so uh, what uh, how will you uh, describe line of forces so mostly um, there is um, like you can think this is not a concept but this is more of a definition which can be used to communicate uh, with the other uh, colleagues uh, or engineers or scientists so that's why there is a, a convention how to uh, define the electric uh, fields so that's why we say electric line of forces so it's all about if we put a positive charge then where should that positive charge go and wherever it will should go that will define the electric line of force so, so now let's talk about the first system so if you put a positive charge near this system so this is also a positive charge so that positive charge should repel and go away from this particle so all the electric field is defined to be going away from the positive charge so when we talk about two positive charges no one positive charge and one negative charge so this is negative and this is positive then the positive charge will go from positive towards negative so that's why these lines are going this way but uh, if you have positive charge on this side then it will just repel uh, uh, in this direction so that's why the lines are built like this and same way if you have two positive charges then a particle cannot go in this direction because uh, both of them are positive so this particle either will like to go away in this direction or will like to go away in this direction so that's how the forces are defined so if you look in the textbook 
then uh, they have defined that no line can intersect each other. So what does that mean? So um, th that means that uh, if you are looking at uh, uh, electric field, then there can't be like uh, two force, uh, two directions. So suppose if I put uh, a positive charge here, then uh, this this doesn't mean that uh, I'll, I can also draw lines uh, like this because that will not be the right. Uh, in that case, we have to redefine all the lines and uh, that will be more like, uh, like this uh, going in this direction and uh, all this line will disappear and this will be going in this direction. So, so you have to uh, make the new lines or, or define the new terms which will be um, which will take effect of all the forces which will be there uh, on the particle and that's how you will define the new lines. So, so I hope this uh, helps and this clears your concept about electric field and electric line of forces and uh, I'll see you next uh, in the next tutorial and we talk about um, the potential energy uh, and how that potential energy can convert to kinetic energy uh, when a particle is in the electric field and then we will also talk about the dipole moment. Thank you.